Welcome to a lesson on how to produce the standard form of a quadratic function and graph it. To graph a quadratic equation or function given in general form, we complete the square to convert it to standard form. To complete the square, we will factor negative 2 from the first two terms and leave some space in the parentheses to complete the square and then we try to find what is the missing term that will complete the square the missing term is half of negative 4 squared so negative 2 squared is plus 4 so we add 4 in the parentheses and then to balance the addition of the extra term inside the parentheses we must distribute the negative 2 with the 4 it gives us negative 8 so that means that by adding the 4 we added negative 8 in the expression so to balance it out we will add positive 8 and now the, par the expression doesn't change the expression inside this pa the parenthesis is the expanded form of the square x minus 2 so negative 2 is in the front and negative 4 plus 8 is plus 4 so the standard form of the quadratic is y equals negative 2 x minus 2 squared plus 4 now from the negative h and plus k we can find the vertex of this parabola the vertex is h comma k which is 2 comma 4 and I will plot the vertex on the graph if we didn't need the standard form of the parabola we could still find the vertex from the general form if we knew that h the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a which is negative 8 over 2 parenthesis negative 2 which is 2 which is the same with what we found before and k is the value of y when x equals 2 is plugged into the equation so it is f of 2 which is negative 2 times 2 squared plus 8 times 2 minus 4 which is equal to 4 and that is the k that we found with the standard form ok let's continue the axis of symmetry is x equals h h is the x coordinate of the vertex so in our case x equal to 2 I will draw the axis of symmetry as a dashed line and I will need it later so that I can graph my parabola symmetrically and because a is equal to negative 2 the parabola is expected to be curving downwards so our graph has a maximum which has the value y equal to 4 which is the y of the vertex the y-intercept is easily found from the general form if we substitute x equal to 0 and the y is going to be f of 0 which is 0 plus 0 minus 4 which is negative 4 so our y-intercept is the point 0 with negative 4 and we can plot that on our graph the x-intercepts can be found from the general form using the quadratic formula negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a negative b is negative 8 the discriminant is equal to 32 2a is negative 4 I can simplify the square root of 32 as 
4 square root of 2 and then I can divide both negative 8 and 4 square root of 2 by negative 4 to get 2 plus or minus the square root of 2. So my two x-intercepts are 2 minus square root of 2 comma 0 and 2 plus square root of 2 comma 0 and I can plot those on the graph this is 2 minus square root of 2 and this is going to be 2 plus square root of 2. The point on the parabola that is symmetric to the y-intercept 0, negative 4 is the point 4, comma, negative 4. We can find that because we see that the y-intercept is 2 units to the left of the axis of symmetry and the symmetric point has to be 2 units on the other side. I can now graph the parabola more accurately by connecting the points I found, the vertex with the x-intercept and the y-intercept, the vertex with the other x-intercept and the symmetric point. Finally, either from the graph or from the equation, we can see that the domain is all real values for x from negative infinity to infinity and the range is values of y from negative infinity to the maximum which was 4, close that 4. We are all set.